Welcome to the SolarEdge instructional video. In this video we'll guide you on how to create a new site on the Monitoring Cloud platform. To start, log in to the SolarEdge Monitoring platform. At the top right of the page, click the Create Site button. Creating a new site consists of four simple steps. First, enter the site address in the search field, select an address from the available options, and verify it on the map. The system will automatically pre-fill the address fields. The system will also search for site duplications to ensure that the same site was not previously created. Sites with matching and nearby addresses under the same account may be found and listed. If you see that the site was already created, exit the process. Otherwise, continue to create a new site. The system will also look for existing design projects with a nearby or matching address in the SolarEdge Designer platform. If a design project is found, you can simply click to import it. Next, enter the site details. In this section you will need to enter a few details that describe your site, such as Installation type, residential or commercial The site name, note that this name needs to be unique The installation date, estimated peak power, select an account from the drop-down menu This field will be presented only for accounts with sub-accounts The next fields are optional, select a group from the drop-down menu this field will be presented only for accounts that have created site groups. Select Revenue Calculation. Select Alerts Profile. Notes. General information about the site. You can also add a site image by dragging it directly or browsing your device folders. Next, add the contact info of the site. We advise using accurate information as this may be used to contact them should the need arise. Check the box to send a registration email to this user. The user will get an invitation to register to the My Solar Edge app once the site is created. In this step, you can also set the permissions you would like to give to this user. Entering the equipment details is optional. Adding equipment details will allow you to view all online site information and facilitate remote diagnostics. Enter the last 10 digits of the inverter's serial number. Select the module manufacturer and model. If your model is unavailable, click Can't find your model at the bottom of the drop down menu. To enter the information of the new model. Enter the smart EV charges or gateway serial numbers if installed on site. Please note, if you don't have this data, you can always fill these details later in the site, admin, under, logical layout. Click the finish button. That's it, you have created a new site. You will then have the option to create another site, view the layout, or go back to the sites list. Once communication has been set up for your inverter and the inverter has had time to report, Optimizers will automatically report themselves to the monitoring portal, so you may complete the site physical layout. Thanks for joining us.